Hello everybody. Today I'm at Lao Lao Bay in Saipan. When most people think of Lao Lao Bay, this is what they think of. Right over there you can see some tourists going into the ocean with their scuba gear. All through there are very large beaches. Very nice. Up at the top there you can see Mount Tapachal. That's what most people think when they think of Lao Lao Bay. But I'm not like most people. Neither is my my little exploring buddy here. His name is Stewie. Good boys do. You never know what you're going to find in the jungles of Saipan, but you always find something. Everywhere I go, there's evidence of World War II, and much older than that as well. Don't just fly away. <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going. This is a Japanese World War II cave. This cave would have been used to store ammunition for their large gun nearby. You can see the stairs cut into the, the ground right here. This road was built by the Japanese during World War II to fortify all of Lao Lao Bay. <coughs> you can find lots of the roads still, still surviving today. This is a, a quite interesting piece of history. This is a grinding stone. This has been used for a thousand years to grind rice. Don't drink that stew. That looks really dirty. They'd use this rock and grind this, the rice inside there. And over a thousand years, this big rock here, this, this hole was dug into this big rock. This area right here was a, a Japanese gun bunker. Not much is left of it now. This piece of iron was on the roof of the bunker. The Japanese guns were pointed towards the ocean right here, expecting the invasion to happen here at Lao Lao Bay. They were way off. The invasion took place over on the other side of Saipan. What did this do? He found something over there. This rock wall looks like it was um, obviously protecting something. My guess is this could have been another bunker or possibly uh, 
uh, living quarters for the Japanese. That's what my, my buddy Stewie was uh, all excited about. There's a couple little kittens here. A little shrine. You see those kittens too? This is another Japanese gun bunker. This one survived quite well. I'm surprised. All the other bunkers here took a quite an explosion. I like this bunker. The cannon is still inside. All of the cannons, the Japanese cannons, were all pointing towards the ocean, which was a big disadvantage for the Japanese. These guns were not able to turn around and point the other direction, which is where the, the, the Marines came from. This side here, they would have stored some, some of the ammunition in here. That, uh, that cave a little while back would have stored a lot more ammunition for all of these bunkers. These lizards are crawling up my legs. <laughs> Still, this bunker shows a lot of signs of, of an explosion, but not one big enough to blow the whole thing up like those other bunkers. Coming around to the front side of that bunker, And this is what they're trying to protect. Wow, well, love, Bay. Right down there, you can see the Japanese tourists going out for scuba diving. All along here, I'm walking on rubble from what used to be the Japanese fortifications of Lao Lao. I want to see what this thing is. Water tank. Storing water would have been a big problem back then. So I found lots of these water tanks. A well-needed water break. <laughs> My buddy Stewie is really thirsty. He's also hungry, but we're not going to eat yet, Stu. Look at this. What is that? Well, I don't want to dig it out of there to find out what it is. It could be a one of the rounds for that gun over there.
This is kind of strange. All these broken pieces of rock, both sides. And here in the jungle is this, this big rock, not that big, but uh, somebody was trying to dig, <laughs> dig a little hole into this rock. Probably from sh for shelter from all the bombing here at Lao Lao. It's not a big rock, so I'm quite surprised. Still, you get out of there. He doesn't want to get out of the cave. Just a little hole somebody was digging. Japanese soldier, most likely.